Mark good, I'm gonna go to the DMV, I'll be right back, all right? <laughs> no, you're not, Jimmy. You're gonna be gone for the day. If by you're gonna be right back, you mean you're gonna be gone the entire day? Sure, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right, Margaret. He's right. Here's the thing, when you go to the DMV, you're gone the entire day. That's not one of those things where you can tell somebody I'm gonna go to the store real quick, like, hey, I'll be right back, I'm gonna go to the market and pick up some pickles, all right? No, because it's not that. You go to the store, you're in and out, right? I mean, depending on how long the lines are, you might get held up a little bit. But here's the thing, when you go to the DMV, it's literally, it's like a vacation. Like a miserable vacation, but a vacation. It's one of those things that people just dread to do. That people dread to do. It's something that you put literally like on the last thing to do on your list, nobody looks forward to going to the DMV. And that's just the truth of it. I think going to the DMV is like the equivalent of going to the doctors. Like you know you need to go, and you have to go, you're gonna go, but you just really don't want to. You know, you have that really bad cough, <coughs> that sore throat, <coughs> <laughs> or that fever that just won't go away. But yeah, you don't want to go to the doctor's office. But you have to. You're gonna go. Well, the DMV is the same thing. You don't want to go, but you have to go. And why don't you want to go? Why don't you want to go? Ask anyone that's ever been to the DMV in their life, and they'll tell you exactly why. Because it's almost the equivalent of being trapped in a padded room, except you're not in a padded room, and there's a couple of dozen other people around. You're gonna be there the entire day. It's boring. You got your phone, yes, but it's almost like even if you have your phone, it's still boring. Like, because you could be on your phone, you could be texting, you could be doing whatever you want on your phone that you would normally be doing, which would normally entertain you. But you're in this environment. You're in this environment that you don't want to be in. So it's kind of like, regardless of what you're doing on your phone, you got your phone right there, which is the source of entertainment for you. It almost doesn't count because you're in this environment. You don't, you don't want to be in this environment. Especially because every two minutes, you're looking at your number. You know, your little ticket number that they give you that says G20. 26 on it? Yeah, and here's the worst part about it. They got like a hundred numbers, right? From one to a hundred. That's obviously what a hundred numbers would be. One to a hundred. But here's the thing that makes it so much worse. So if you have number 54, you're like, oh, okay, you know, I'm, I'm halfway there. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Not only do the numbers go from one to a hundred, so you got all those people in the middle, but they also have letters. So you get from A to H or J or I, I don't even know what the letters go up to. It's not Z, but you got A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Let's stop at G just for the sake of right now. Because within those letters, you got one to a hundred. So while you're sitting there, bored out of your mind, just wanting to get out of this place, you hear the lady on the intercom, which I'm sure they'll turn into Siri at some point, saying, now calling D26 at window number five. Now calling B32 at window number eight. Now calling A10 at window number 12. Now calling F42 at window number 18. Now calling D. Now calling H. Now calling C. Now calling D. Now calling A. Now calling H. Now calling. Now calling. Now calling. Now calling. Now calling. Now calling. Stop calling these numbers. And they just keep calling the numbers, the letters and the numbers. And here's the thing. I don't know if they go like A and then whatever and then B whatever and then C. I don't know if it actually goes in order of, of, the, of the letters, but it doesn't seem like they do. Like they just jump around. Like they go from C so you're thinking, oh, okay, I have D42, so maybe I'm next. But then it goes C18 on window number 26. So you're like, okay, okay. So they called C, so they're probably gonna call D right now, you know? I mean, it just makes sense. Then they go, now calling C22 at window number six. And then from there, they go, now calling F38 at window number two. Now calling A28 at window number 10. Whoa, what the heck? You just went from F to A? What is that? Can someone please explain how they just went from F to A? Like, how do you do that? Where does that exist? Do they just have, like, some giant jar in the back that they're just rotating and they're just picking out numbers? What's going on here? You you better go prepared. You have to go prepared, okay? You have to bring food. It's survival. It is it is survival when you go to the DMV. You better go with your phone charged and a backup charger. You better go with things to drink. Notice I said things to drink, not something to drink. Because if you bring a little 8-ounce bottle of water, okay, that's not gonna work. Like, you really need one of these MFers, right? Here, okay, this is what you need. You need a big old tank gallon, okay? Trust me, you're gonna need it. And then, you know what? Screw one banana. You're gonna need a whole damn batch if you're going to the DMV. Like, seriously, you need, like, an earthquake kick when you go to the DMV. I'm telling you, it's survival. Because if you go empty-handed, if you could just go to the DMV, you got your phone in your pocket, it's at, like, 60%. So in your head, you're like, you know what? I'm, I'm good. I'm at 60%. That is, I'm... 
Good. Yeah, good. That's a good. No, you're not good. Because once you go in there, it's like a chamber. Once you go in there, you're stuck. You're stuck there for like the entire day. And you can't leave because if you leave, there's a chance that they can call your letter number. They call each number about three times. But I mean, they're not going to keep calling for like 20 or 30 minutes. But you have to go prepared because if you don't go prepared, that was me breaking a window, by the way. Oh, I was just, since, since I can't actually do it, I had to act like I was doing it. And, and anyways, if you're going to the DMV, go prepared. Just go prepared. Take your phone fully charged. If you got a battery pack, take a battery pack. Take like two bottles of something to drink and take snacks. You have to act like you're going camping. Like, you know, you're going to go camping with some friends and you got to, you got to, you got to take this backpack full of, full of survival gear. <laughs>